Geegan channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. There's Dave Cackley. Welcome to Friday. Um, community note. Um, when I when I hold my finger up and say community mm -hmm. note, that's one of those things where you're it's like, hey, pay attention. Mm -hmm. Try that with me. Community note. Mm -hmm. Put your finger up. Uh, why, why would I hey, put well, my finger? You just put your finger you up. You can go, oh, community note. Very important. Uh, well, couldn't you just tell by the way I'm looking at you that I'm I'm all focused in uh, all listening? right you do you um, I was just you know I'm not I'm not big with hand gestures oh okay whatever um tomorrow is one of the medication disposal days so if you've got like leftover pills or uh, what, what do they take they take pills they take sharps they take um i think if you want to get rid of vape stuff they take that mm -hmm. too um it's where the police and the fire department and the public health people all get together you sign a little form you don't have to sign it mm -hmm. but you just gotta register what you're putting in there mm -hmm. and they take back all the it's all the stuff they don't want getting in the ground or in the drinking water so okay don't flush your pills when you're done with them don't um do anything other than bring them to this medication disposal thing no questions asked. Um, so however you came across these pills, let's say uh, your grandma died and there was a, a 90 pack of Vicodin in there. Yeah. I was, and, yeah. Um, and, and, and it's getting on you. Uh, right. You know, oh, I shouldn't have taken grandma's pills. Um, bring them there. They will, they will give them, they will dispose of them properly and we'll all be mm -hmm. kumbaya. Yes. Right. Very good. So, yeah. Oh, oh, I thought you were big on hand now. gestures. Well, I'm not, but oh. but since you started it, now oh, okay. I've decided to piggyback onto that. All right, you do that. You started it. You, you're a trendsetter. That's what I do. You know, soon Before everybody's you know gonna, everybody's gonna be wearing Waffle House T-shirts on video podcasts after this because That's what you, I'm sir, you, sir, are a trendsetter. Uh, the boil water advisory is still ongoing in Muskegon. Yes. Muskegon uh, Heights. Muskegon Heights. Excuse me. Thank yep. you for that. Thank you for that. Uh, it's uh, probably going to be lifted sometime tomorrow. Initial tests are looking good. Yep. So expect uh, that to end sometime tomorrow. You know, the That's greatest what... thing that I knew would happen when I saw this, um, Muskegon Heights is a community of such resilience and such incredible neighbor, neighborly. Oh, yeah. Um, I saw this. Oh, my God. It so was great. The water, there's a water panic, right? Uh -huh. And it was it was really nothing that is uncommon in any other. City. Yeah, it happens. It the happens. Water every, pressure goes yeah. down. They have to take mm -hmm. these measures and everything else right out of the bat, right out of the gate. Oh my God! It's 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 it, the sky's falling. Blah blah blah. Uh -huh. Muskegon Heights people walked into that problem like a boss. They found some water first thing and mm -hmm. first to get the, the immediate needs taken care of. This is before Meyer started showing up to give out water mm -hmm. and everything else. It was it was just amazing. And then as they were doing the small, smaller water gives where they found it, you know, within the community and how can we help and all right. that stuff. Out came people with food to start feeding the people that were helping give out the water and out came the neighborhood to hang out and pictures and it, it, dude. If every community could pull together in a small emergency like mm -hmm. water, you know, what, right. what, dude, this is a boil water emergency. Other communities around town don't even blink when that happens. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, right. crap. Now we got to go to the store and buy a case of a bottle of water. Yeah. yeah. Muskegon Heights walks into that like, hey, we'll show you how this is done. And they absolutely took care of each other 110%. They made it a small community event. Mm hmm and there is so much there's so much to be proud of in that neighborhood i love absolutely. it absolutely absolutely and I that's kind of what i love it that's kind of what small communities do yeah. that's why i like that's why you know when i was young you want to get out you want to get where the people are you want to get out in the bigger cities you want to do this you want to have a good time but the older you get the more you appreciate that and smaller communities and kind of you want to keep your you want to keep your friends yep. that that zone like I, I and i know a lot of people i'm friendly to a lot of people but i my the group of people that i really really trust is pretty small yeah uh and uh but yeah the the small town feel the the the, the 
idea of that something happens to somebody or to a group of people, we're going to come in and help out. Oh yeah. It's just, it's just kind of power for the course. It's what, I've got it's a, what uh, towns like Muskegon Heights and others will do. I've got a story coming up next week about something that happened in Ravana. It's mm-hmm. going to blow your mind. Um, oh. Amazing. So cool. kudos to the people of Muskegon Heights for uh, such an absolutely amazing outpouring of, of, and, and I'll tell you this too, when Muskegon Heights has homecoming, or you mm-hmm. know, the, the, the school the function around the school, dude. You need to walk through the neighborhood. Every yard is filled with a oh, buffet. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. You, lo- I love you. Love seeing things like that. And I don't mean maybe oh, when man. it comes to a buffet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, of course. Yeah. Come on up, get some to eat. Okay, I'm gonna belly run right up. Uh, here comes Andy. <laughs> Andy's coming to your house and her house and his house and their is that, house. Is that a plate of greens? Oh, boy. Oh, geez. <laughs> anyway, we're going to do news today or what? Yeah, let's get into it. Disgraced movie producer Harvey Weinstein's rape conviction has been overturned in New York. Weinstein's a conviction was reversed on a 4-3 to three opinion by the New York Court of Appeals. The court found that the a trial judge erroneously admitted testimony of uncharged alleged prior sexual acts that should not have been admitted. Uh, Weinstein, of course, was also convicted of multiple sex crimes in L.A., since to 16 years in prison there. So bottom line is he's still in prison. Okay. It's one of those deals where, okay, this one, he kind of is getting that revert, but then they're going to they're gonna re-prosecute. Yeah. Uh, so The initial yeah, report, it, though, came out looking like, oh, Weinstein's not guilty, and they're going to free yeah. him. Yeah, so that, that was a little shocking to see yesterday. Right, which wasn't the case, but that's what they did. I know, that's, what, that's news what they organizations do, now. do Of course. Right. So, oh, my God, he's going to be for... No. What, I would like, what I'd like to throw into the mix here is, what if you didn't have the kind of money to pay some attorney to continue digging and digging and digging for this kind of crap in order just to get one thing cleared off the record that's going to do nothing? Well, I mean, that's just uh, high. The best attorneys cost the most. I get it, right? The, the attorneys but don't still, do this out of the goodness of their heart. It results in nothing. It doesn't get Weinstein out of mm-hmm. prison. No. It, it it literally sends a shocking message through any victim of any of these kind of crimes for a mm-hmm. day until we cannot get our arms around the idea that he's still going to be locked up and mm-hmm. he's still guilty. And... I think it just screams, you know what? I'm rich. I can keep doing this until I can get away with it, and I'm going to keep doing it, so screw you. I think it's awful. I, I really it, think that, dude, if you did the crime, do the time. Sack yeah. off and be a man, and don't use the last of your fortune. to. And I, and I think, too, if he was just the average guy that got mm-hmm. pinched for doing some kind of crime, you're spending the rest of your freaking life in jail. That's how it works. Oh, it, it, this goes back it's to the man right. who, yeah, no, yeah, this goes back to the man whose name we dare not speak, lest we we uh, get to Andy's ire. But uh, a man with a a notable yeah. uh, initial name who Chris Rock said, you know, did a great bit. It's if, if he if he weren't this was about fame. It's about fame. It's about money. Yep. If you don't have, I mean, you're not. He, he nobody would care. Or no. Yeah. But when you're famous or you have the means, yep. yeah, um, you can get off. It's 100%, not 100%, but uh, is it fair? No, it's not fair. Is it right? No, it's not right. Is it still the best system going? Yeah, it still is. As flawed and horrible as it is at times and as gross as it can be, nobody's come up with a better one yet. All right. So... To be continued, what else is happening? A 12-string guitar played by John Lennon and George Harrison is heading to auction. This particular acoustic instrument was used by the Beatles legends back in 1965 during the recording of Help. The auction is set for May 29th and 30th. What do you figure the expected uh, price tag Uh, on this? Let's see. Rough, Um, Rough guesstimate. Four and a half million. 
not bad guy. Two to two and a half. Million. All right. So you went, you went a little bit, but uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, it's. I think the record uh, is like two point five. I think you, you're going to see probably two point five. Th- could be three, but four. You know, it wouldn't shock me if it because you got you still have Beatles fanatics. I mean, and they were you. you they changed. They changed music. So they were. There step. you go. I mean, if if you look at it, it well, yeah. If you look at it historically. And mm-hmm. you think about everybody who was the next um, next personalization of Satan, uh, all the way from Elvis to Kiss. Um, you know what I mean? Oh, my God, he can't shake those hips like that. I'm offended. Elvis oh, the was, Beatles. yeah, well. Look at that long hair. Oh, my God. Yeah, they're the all... long-haired hippie freaks, yeah. I, dude, it's, it, it's one of those. But they points... wore suits. Oh, that doesn't count. <laughs> look at that terrible <laughs> yes, hair. Yes, it does. <laughs> it, it's just one of those things where um, the evolution of music has always had some kind mm-hmm. of demon, including the Beatles at one point. And when you look back at yeah. it, it was like, how stupid was that? You know what I mean? It, it, yeah. It really was. I think it's more it's more the life. It's not the music as much as it is maybe the lifestyle. Exactly, but. The perception of the lifestyle. You've got your kid, yeah. and you just said it the other day. He's listening oh, to God. the gangster rap. It's it's, it's insane. Are, there is there Are is you nothing freaking out left. that the kid's going to turn into a gangster? No. Okay. No, it's it, I, I find it. I, and I try to ask, like, how do you identify with any of this? Music's about you. Know, it speaks to you on some level. Right. I mean. I, I, I get how a kid in the inner city can kind of identify with it. I don't get how you know white suburbia. Well, there's the, it, it doesn't make there's sense the evolution of people too. I mean, dude, when I was well, you wanna, when I was doing the out of control Saturday night, mm-hmm. I identified, and oh, boy, yeah, howdy, did I ever! Oh um, yeah, but yeah, you were yes. Um, but th- there's also the idea too. When I'm fifty fifty four years old right now, mm-hmm. and I don't think I'd be caught dead at a Limp Bizkit concert. You know, I'm, you know what? I would probably go. <laughs> I would go, you know. If I, I had free tickets, I'd go all day. If I had free tickets, free <laughs> tickets to certain shows I would attend. Will I pay for any concert ever Hell for no. the rest of my life? N- no. Okay. No effing way. All right. Never. Finally. A record crowd descended on Motown for round one of the NFL draft on Thursday night. 275,000 people watched the four-hour selection show in person. Quarterback Caleb Williams was the number one overall pick going to Chicago. Michigan's J.J. McCarthy went to Minnesota. The Lions hit it big with the best defensive back in the draft, trading up to select Alabama's corner, Terrian Arnold, at number 20. For uh, that's it what was, I was yeah. I, I stayed up. I stayed up too late to watch this. But if you if you're a Lion fan, the organizational change that was made about three years ago is the difference in everything. Any, right. when, you, when you look at any business, whether you're talking sports, whether you're talking broadcasting, whether you're talking finance, whatever it is, it, if you've got a good organization in place. They're going to get the right people in there. They're going to make the right decisions, and you're going to find yourself with success. And uh, that's what's happening in Motown. And it's, it's, it's great for the city. It's great for the state. Uh, hell, it's great for America. Everybody wants to. I mean, this is the, they were the Chicago Cubs for years. And now here they are on the precipice of they don't have holes. There's very few, if any, holes left. In what happens team. when I raise my finger? Okay, you have a point to make. Go ahead. I have a point to make. Yes, I do. Dave, it's mm-hmm. great for the universe. I'm feeling it everywhere in the entire universe. Dark energy, visible energy. Uh-huh. I'm feeling it yes. in moons. I'm feeling yeah, it in the planet. Yeah. This, is, this is what we've been waiting for as a species uh, mm-hmm. since the last flood. Thank God. You Thank know what God I read? Have I made this, this analogy? How wise to I am? To you in the NFL? No, no. To you, you're cut. You're obviously so you don't give a shit. No, I love it's, it. It's, I and think that's this fine. Is amazing. I no, want a Super Bowl. No, one. no, you you don't you don't care one way or the other, and that's fine. Yes, I do. I do. I'm happy. I'm not trying to convince you to care. Yes, you are. No, I, and you won. No, I'm, not. I'm happy. I no, I'm not trying to convince you to care. I don't. I don't. And I don't here's the other thing. Um, as somebody from the entertainment business, 
bang around concerts and events and things like mm -hmm. that. You say 475,000 people were there? I'd like 275,000. You're off by 200,000. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Whatever. I'd like to count the ticket drop. Let's let's verify that. It now. was free. It's all free. It was there were no tickets sold. I know. It was that's the amount of people who descended. How do you know? That's what that's what they're saying the numbers were. They oh. were evidently evidently doing a head count and they said right around they that's about what they were expecting. It was oh, yeah, okay. more than any more than any that has come to the draft in the history of the draft. I mean the, no games are being played. It's just dudes being picked and oh. hugging the commissioner. Love that. And that's all this is. Yeah. It's literally all it is I, and to have that. And I'm happy. Show. It it yeah. made the universe. That's that's what and we wanted. Did. Everything is right. Dude, I'm not you I'm not you and the yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay that you don't care. I'm That's happy. My point. So don't try to so I won't try to get you to care about that. I you don't do. try to get me to Take compare a man about for his middle age about trust me about when I tell you female I'm happy for stars. Him. Okay. It's I'm happy okay. for him. Take me from my word. All right, I, okay. Mm -hmm. Sports, rest of the rest of the goings on. The Tigers were off. Cubs win. Cubs win. Cubs win. They beat the Astros three to one. That's sports. Couple hood, and I teased this yesterday, saying that I thought mm -hmm. you had a pretty good chance at this because okay. uh, your viewing habits Even and your um, the way you drift toward personalities. I think this one's a good one. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. I'm not, I'm not coupled, but well, I didn't say you had to be. Okay, you said couple hood, so I did. Oh my god, what? Twelve hundred, couple hood. Kelly Ripa and Mark Consuelos first met on the set of this daytime soap in 1995 and eloped a year later. Uh, I don't, I didn't watch it because I know it was ABC. I only watch CBS soap operas. I oh. don't watch NBC oh. or ABC. Oh, I don't. I'm not telling other people not to. Uh, that said, I'm pretty sure uh, the viewers call it days. I call it days of our lives. Although I've never watched a single full episode. Days of Our Lives is your final answer. Yes, it is. It was All My Children. Um, are you serious? Yeah, Days of Our Lives is on NBC. It is? Yep. Or at least it was. It was I don't All think My Children? On anymore. It was on All My... She was on All My Children? I didn't. Wouldn't lie to you. I'm a man of honesty. It feels and like you're lying. It feels like you're lying to me. Why would I do was that? Was she also on Days of Our Lives, though? I don't what is know. all my children? Wow. I, dude, I'm not watching soap operas. Oh, I'm not, I'm not. I'm too much of a man to watch. Not that at all. I'm busy. I got things Good to do. Good junk food TV. I course. don't get to put my feet up at the countertop shop and watch soaps in the back. Oh, oh, dude, I never put my feet up there. Okay, Jesus. sure you don't. Good all right, Lord. well, deeper in the hole you go. We'll see you Monday. See ya! I thought you didn't work with your hands. That was just at the end. Oh. Don't 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 I'm confuse the issue with fact. Don't confuse the issue with facts. Goodbye. Stop. Welcome back, Muskegon. We have one more pleasant day before a more active weather pattern arrives this weekend. So let's take a look at your forecast brought to you by Trinity Health. Like I said, we are expecting pleasant weather for Friday. We'll have a lot of high level clouds, but temperatures will get close to 70 degrees here in Muskegon with the southeast wind until rain will move in for Friday night, but it will likely hold off until after sunset, thankfully. And like I said, we do have a more active weekend with periods of showers and thunderstorms basically from Friday night throughout the day on Monday. So this is what the future radar looks like at 11 p.m. That's when the rain will start to move in or just shortly before 11. But during the daytime hours through at least sunset, will likely be dry across West Michigan. And then by 5 a.m. on Saturday, you can see more rain showers and maybe even some embedded thunderstorms could sweep through West Michigan. But then throughout the day on Saturday, we'll probably have a break before more showers and storms arrive for Saturday night. And then temperature wise today with the Southeast wind that will actually make Muskegon one of the warmer spots all across West Michigan, with temperatures getting close to 70 degrees, even near the beach. Temperatures at the beach will likely be well into the lower 60s. So pretty warm for that time of year. So like I said, for Friday, we're expecting a lot of high level clouds to move in, but we'll have filtered sunshine at least with a warm high of 68 degrees. And then rain showers will definitely move in during the evening hours and overnight with a low of 55 and we could also have a rumble of thunder with that but we're not expecting any severe weather and then we'll have active weather from saturday through basically monday night 
with periods of rain and also some thunderstorms. We are in a slight risk of severe weather on Saturday, and that's more so for Saturday night. So keep your eyes on the radar for that time period. We'll have more thunderstorms throughout the day on Sunday with warm temperatures though into the mid 70s. And then after Monday, a cold front will come through which will drop our temperatures briefly into the 60s for the middle of the week, especially later on when we'll fall into the lower 60s. And that is your Friday and weekend forecast brought to you by Trendy Health on the Muskegon channel. And I'm Cole Woods Weather and have a great weekend.